Hello everyone, it's Alana Leilani, your potato queen, here with a serious story. What I want to talk about now is something that um, I've only talked about at a couple panels, and it's of the time that I believe I was almost taken advantage of, and um, it's a serious topic. So um, I'll probably try to joke because that's how I deal with these things, but um, I'm 100% serious that this happened, um, this is real, this is my experience that I went through. Now there are those of you who won't believe me, there are those of you who will say I'm waking, uh, making it up, looking for attention, or that no man could possibly ever want me because I'm fat. That's fine, go along your way, we don't care about you. You don't have to believe me, I don't have proof, so I'm not going to try to compel you to believe me. If you choose not to believe me, that's your business. But for those of you who do believe me and are willing to listen, this is my story. Now I am going to be vague because it's years ago, and as I said, I I don't know 100% their intentions, but I'm going to present the story as I felt it happened, okay? So I was at a con up in Canada where I was a guest. Um, not a huge guest, just like a small time guest, but I was there nonetheless, and I was running a table, and on the last day of the con, actually the night, um, Saturday night, I started feeling real sick. And um, I was having these episodes and we didn't know it then because this was before I got di diagnosed, but I was dealing with ulcerative colitis. Granted, didn't know then, so I didn't treat myself properly, um, so on and so forth. So it was bad. Uh, Sunday comes and I'm in my Navi costume, like, whoa, blessed to the past. And I'm just, I'm barely holding it together. I am... Um, I am a hot mess, but we still have a panel and a showing um, later in the day, so I've got to, I've got to stay, or at least that's what I told myself. My other friends, the other guests there, did not compel me to stay. It was all me putting pressure on myself. But um, anyway, so time passes and I'm feeling worse and I'm feeling worse and it's not getting better and it's like a burning, fiery pain. I go to the bathroom. I have an accident. Like it's really not a. <laughs> this is not a story where I'm gonna come out looking very nice. Uh, I was a hot mess. Um, my friend laid down a blanket and let me sleep behind the table. I passed out for hours. I felt better, woke up, went to our showing. And there was this guy who was like really hitting on me and like put his arm around me and stuff. And he was like half my size. He was maybe an inch or two shorter than me. Probably weighed half as much as I do. But I was so hot. And I was so tired, and my stomach just hurt so much. I just didn't feel like fending him off, so I just like joked with him occasionally and just said like, uh huh, mm mm mm. And then so um, my friends go to go get the car to pull around because I can't, I can't walk to the garage. I'm, I'm literally almost gonna pass out. I've got a fever, and it's just, it's not good. So um, they leave me. Um, they're really awesome, trying to take care of me. Um, I really couldn't have asked for better people with me in that situation. Um, and I'm sitting in the closing ceremonies, and of course this guy sits next to me, puts his arm around me, and uh, finally I'm just like, you, you, need to, you need to give me space, I feel really hot, I don't feel good. And he's like, oh, are you sick, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, so don't touch me, please, I don't feel good. And he's like, oh, you know, I have medicine at my room, you know, we can take care of you. Uh, my friend's a so-and-so, a nurse or something. I don't know, and I was just like, no, I just, I just want to sit here, I don't want to move. And so that went on for a while, and um, finally my friend texted me that they were almost pulled around. Because, you know, anytime there's Sunday, there's a long line to get around the hotel, so I'm not surprised it took them so long. So um, I go to walk towards the front, and I sit in this chair. Guy follows me, of course, and then as time's going on, he's getting more insistent, like, come on to my room, come on, come on, you know, come to my room, I, we can make you feel better, you look so sick, honey, I've got medicine, you know, let, let's take care of you, we need to get that fever down, I can get a cool washcloth on you, I'm really worried about you. And the whole time, he could have been sincere, he could have just really been looking out for me, but I just, I just got the feeling of no. Don't go, Alana. Don't do it. Uh, you don't feel good. Just try to stay still. Say no. Don't go with this guy who you don't know. Normally, like, I wouldn't care because I can overpower someone like him like that. But I mean, at that point, I don't even know if I could uh, uh, overpower a bendy straw. I was just so weak and so tired and so confused. And so this guy, um, I'm sitting in a chair and the guy takes my arm and pulls me up out of the chair. And he starts to try to like pull me towards his room. He's like, come on, come to my room, come to my room. And I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to your room. 
And he's like, oh, honey, it's okay. We'll take care of you. You're really sick, you know. Let's get you feeling better. And he's pulling, and he's pulling. And so finally, I'm just like, I can't resist his pull. I, I can't pull back, which is normally I'm just like, boom. Yeah, you know? I couldn't do it. So I was like, I have one option. And so I just leaned back and sat down. Full weight. I just planted myself as hard as I could in the middle of the floor. Meanwhile, people are walking by at the con, and they're seeing this, but I don't know if they're registering it. No one's helping me. I'm not crying for help, though, so it's, it's a really ambiguous situation. So, um, I'm now sitting. Full weight, like, I've got my legs, uh, kind of, like, up, like, bent. And I'm, like, leaned over like this, and my ass is planted on the ground. And he tries to pull me up several times. I was like, no, I'm staying here. I'm staying here. I don't want to move. It's cold. The cool, the floor is cool. I don't want to go. And so he pulls me, tries to pull me a few more times, but I'm a big girl. I am fat. He could not get my ass up off that floor. So that is this, that's how my ass saved my ass. Um, so I pulled a few more times and then he gave up. He's like, all right, well, feel better. I'm going to go to such and such panel. And then he left. And um, I let him add me on Facebook because I'm stupid. And he f was on my Facebook for a few years, but then finally in front of me, thank goodness. And I, I, I was stupid for adding him and I was a coward, but you know, whatever happens. But you know, I think back now, what if I hadn't been fat? What if I hadn't had enough weight put down for to plant myself? Would something have happened? Would he have taken me to his room and taken care of me? I don't know. I, he could have been a nurse from heaven sent down to tend to poor little Alana who hadn't didn't know that she had a disease yet. I don't feel like that was the case. I don't feel like that was the case at all, just with how insistent he was. And just, no one helped me. It really bothers me to this day. Granted, you know, I didn't make a lot of noise. I was confused and hot and just, I wanted to sit down. So do I blame them? I don't, I don't know. But I feel like I know a little bit about how a girl who gets drugged or roofies feels. Obviously it's not quite the same. I still had, you know, control of my faculties because I wasn't drugged, I was just sick. But you know, for the first time in a very long time, I felt very much in danger. And I don't feel that that often because, you know, I'm a cocky asshole. So that is the story of one, how my ass saved my ass, but two, how if you're at a convention, just keep your eyes open for this stuff. It happens to anyone. I was a guest there. I was on their website. I had panels. And no one, no one stopped. No one thought anything was wrong. Maybe it didn't look like it was wrong on the outside. But, um, so yeah. That is the story. I don't know when this is going to re be released, or if I ever release it. Because, um, it's a very serious topic. And I don't want people to think, you know, I made it up for attention. I also don't want trolls getting into it and saying all the stupid shit that they do. Because normally I don't care about trolls. Because, you know, they're part of the internet. And they usually just say it on their websites and they don't bother me about it. So, like, who cares? Let them do that. Let them say whatever they want. But this is something that still kind of scares me to this day. That someone almost maybe did something really bad to me. And also there's the uncertainty. Maybe he didn't mean anything bad. I don't know. So, please. I hope you had a good week, but please. Be safe. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more of my work in cosplay, feel free to follow my Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Alana Leilani. And if you like this video, feel free to drop a comment or like it, or even better yet, subscribe! Other than that, I hope you're safe, and you have a great day. Bye!